In Spain, many already know his name, but the intense multifaceted life he led isn't known as much. He was a journalist, intellectual, a politician, and a cardinal. His name was Ángel Herrera Oria, and he could soon be declared a saint. He became a key figure in Spain and in the newspaper called El Debate, where he worked as a director. A group of his friends and fellow priests founded the newspaper, which had a very high intellectual level. He was born in Santander, Spain in 1886. Several of his brothers were priests, but he didn't feel that same calling at first. His nephews and other family members would say that even though he wasn't a priest, he was the most religious of all his brothers, and everyone expected him to continue along that path. With a group of friends, he founded the newspaper El Debate, which he directed for 22 years. El Debate became one of Spain's most prestigious newspapers in the first half of the 20th century. In fact, in 1926, one of the writers went to the Times to get more insight into that newspaper. The editor of the Times told him the only Spanish newspaper he read was El Debate. At this time, Ángel Herrera Oria began several Catholic publishers and organizations that dealt with different problems. He was the president of the Catholic Action Movement, which defended religious freedom, agricultural unions, and regionalism. He was called the missionary of social justice. He believed the future can't simply be improvised, but rather it depends on the formation of its citizens, on how well trained they are when responding to problems of their country. His vocation to the priesthood came later in life. Although he tried to enter the seminary, Pope Benedict XV and Pius XI delayed his request. They asked him to continue his work because of its high quality and prestige, and also for the role it played in the formation of citizens. Eventually, he was ordained at the age of 48. Six years later, he was named a cardinal in 1965. Pope Paul VI made him a cardinal and made public his announcement. That pope said it's like giving this religious title to journalism itself. His cause for canonization began in 1996, and it closed last year. Now church officials are investigating two possible miracles performed through his intercession. His biography is also being written, which focuses on his life and, of course, his virtues, reputation, journalistic skills, and his service as a cardinal.